Well, we've waited all week for this matchup. Number six versus number nine in the country as Ohio State heads on the road to Notre Dame Stadium to take on the Irish. And if you could paint a perfect picture of what college football should look like, it might look like Christmas, but it feels like prime time right now. And we are absolutely over the moon to be bringing you this matchup between the Irish and the Buckeyes. And here come the Irish. Notre Dame won the toss. They elect to defer to the second half. That means Spencer Schrader is going to kick it off. And it's Xavier Johnson, the grad captain, will receive it. And it will be a touchback to start us out, which means Kyle McCord, third and long. McCord settles, fires, Stover, first down. They'll look to go to the air again, to the outside. It's Stover who breaks a tackle. Stiff arms another, and he dives forward for another first down. Ohio State has been converting less than 50% on third and short and less than 40% on third down all year. Here's third and 12 for McCord. Dials it up down the middle of the field. In incomplete. He was overthrowing Ibuka again. Xavier Watts was deep in coverage, had a break on the football, and it's fourth down. Hartman on second down with plenty of time in the pocket and finally finds a wide open receiver. Chris Tyree with a big gain and dumped down at the 35. Josh Proctor finally catches up after a 25 yard pickup from the senior. Hartman steps up. Oh, a catch! Wow! Mitchell Evans across his body. Spectacular! Evans is primarily the inline blocking tight end, but look at this catch. Working against Steel Chambers, the inside linebacker. One arm is being held by the linebacker, and he just reaches up and snatches it for a big time catch and a first down. Make it to him. Now Hartman's going to have to do it himself. Gets away from the first. Oh, he's got space to get there, and he does. Lowers the shoulder at the end, and Sam Hartman picks up the first down. Showing that toughness early. There it was. He had to make it to the 17-yard line, and Cody Simon with a big-time hit. He hit him high and did not allow the football to get past the 17-yard line. The officials just made the call. Notre Dame was short of the line to gain, so Ohio State bends but doesn't break, and this defense making a massive play there to get it back to their offensive side. McCord. Going quick on third down. McCord feeling the pressure, looking to escape. Can't do so. Tripped up. Jordan Botello with a big play, and it's fourth down. Three for six on the season overall. And this one's going to curve out. No good from Schrader. McCord feeling the pressure, delivers over the middle. Beautiful throw. And Boca on the slant picks up the first down. Mayan Williams, the running back. He's got it. Williams stops short. Ball comes out. And it's fourth down. Williams as the, the tailback here on fourth and goal. Fake it to Williams. McCord rolls. McCord surveys. Tipped up. Incomplete. Notre Dame with a stand. Second and seven. It is a run for Estimate. And Estime looking to break away. First down and more across the 20, all the way to the 25. Second and eight. McCord back to the air. Lost it down the sideline. Oh, Marvin Harrison Jr. A flag is down. He brought it in as he was locked up with Morrison. And if it stands, it's a big gain and a first down into Notre Dame territory. And it looked like maybe his hand was coming down out of bounds. I think that's the key that they're looking for now. It's the white gloves, so it's difficult. But let's bring in Terry McCauley. Terry, what do you see here? No, you got it exactly right. That's yeah. exactly what they're looking for. Does the hand come down first out of bounds before the, the, the forearm comes down? It appears to me it does from this angle. After review, the ruling on the fill of a catch has been reversed to an incomplete pass. However, pass interference Number 20 of the defense, 15 yard penalty from the previous spot, automatic first down. McCord on first down, looking towards the end zone. Abuka got it. To 
Touchdown, Ohio State. Here's the end of the, the play. Ruling on the field of no, a touchdown did not catch it. Is under further review. The ruling of the pass is incomplete. It will be second down. Omeka Ibuka has been the go-to guy in this drive so far. He's down wide to the left. McCord looking end zone. Oh, nearly intercepted and incomplete. 31-yard attempt for Jaden Fielding, rather Felding, in this latter stages of the second quarter. And Felding. I think I think Marcus Freeman called a timeout. I think. And it looks like that. Maybe not. It looked like they were blowing the whistle like they were stopping play, but I guess not. The quarterback sneak. Hartman around the outside. Oh, he gets pushed back. That's going to be a stop on fourth down. Styles and the Ransom come up to make the play. The on the line again. So Ohio State's benefit, and now a big game for Henderson. Bucks it to the outside. Henderson's got speed down the sideline. Nobody's going to catch him. Touchdown, Ohio State. 61 yards. And off, Love. Love across the 40 and a first down. Presence of Sam Hartman is what they've talked about within the Notre Dame facility. And off. And a nice gain on the outside to Darian Price across midfield into Ohio State territory and spilled out across the 40. Payne puts the nose down and it looks like he's got it. Hartman over the middle. It's caught. First down and more. And Merriweather is down to the one. Estime not in there. Instead, it's oh, Deron Payne. Wildcat with Deron Payne. Sam Hartman is out here. Hartman's out here. Payne will take the snap on first and goal. Direct snap. Payne up the middle. Stopped initially, but kept fighting for the touchdown. Jabron Payne, no helmet, no problem. Leah foul on the blitz. McCord feeling it. McCord has to get rid of it. Tipped up in the air. Oh, it's complete. Oh Kate Stover. He's still going. And they're going to blow this dead. Stover came down with a football. The and we'll see where they roll it. After the catch, his knee was down at the 45 yard line. Well, they brought both inside backers, Leah Fowl and Bertrand. And Kyle McCord. He's got to unload it, and the ball kind of flutters out of his hands. I think Bertrand hit his arm. It flutters up in the air, bounces around, and Kate Stover somehow is able to come up with the football. I think his knee was down when he caught the football. 100%. But a heads-up play by the tight end nonetheless. We already talked about, you know, he doesn't want to play not to lose. He wants to play to win, and he's got a savvy veteran quarterback that he trusts. Hartman looking around, lofts it. Great house is right there for a big gain. Cuts it back and is devoured at the 35. Igbenosin and Proctor combine on the tackle, but Hartman finally goes for 28 to the freshman. Hartman delivers. Good played. Another spectacular grab from Evans. Right back to Love. And he wiggles through across the 10. Pyle continues to move inside the five, and it's first and goal. Hartman going to the air. Looking end zone, wide open. Touchdown Irish, Rico Flores. McCord over the middle, wide open. Xavier Johnson with a lot of space. Well in the Notre Dame territory. Cam Hart tracks him down. What a play. Third and short has been a problem for Ohio State. Henderson, the handoff. Oh, not sure he got it. Javante Jean-Baptiste, the first one to him, and he's short. McCord handed off. Apuka around the edge. He is stonewalled. Notre Dame gets the stop, and they get the football back. 
running the football and making first downs. Hartman's going to keep. Probably the wrong decision. Spun down by Tui Molalau. So you got to be very disciplined in your punt coverage here if you're Notre Dame. It is the boot from McPherson. And now Abuka with some space. Abuka waiting for some blockers and will just go down at the 35. McCord uncorks. It's complete. First down, Ohio State to Abuka. If you're Notre Dame, you got to be alert for a run here as the last play of the game. Give it to him. Train him up the middle. He's in. Touchdown, Ohio State. They walk it off at Notre Dame Stadium. And now the fans here believe that he was short. You saw it there on the clock. Did he get it over that goal line with one second on the clock? I'm not sure if it looks short. Let's see where if the what's the first body part that touches is that knee and it looks like the football is right there even with the goal line. After review the ruling of a field of a touchdown is confirmed. However, we will have one second left on the game clock. We will have an untimed down and then a kickoff. Pooch it and let it go out of bounds. Well, that's heads up by Notre Dame not touching that football. It works in their favor. They'll get one shot. What kind of magic does Sam Hartman have? Over the middle, Evans. Pitch it back, Merriweather. Extra one back to Hartman. He's going to have to have somebody behind him. Just gets rid of it. That's a fumble, and Ohio State jumps on it. it was likely a forward pass anyway. Igbenosen on top of it as the flag comes Illegal in. Illegal forward pass by the pass of team number one. That penalty is declined. Game is over. And that puts the nail in the coffin. Ohio State stays perfect on the season. 17-14 on Kyle McCord's heroics down the stretch. Now what a ball game. We, we felt like it was going to be this kind of a game. Hard fought, battle, street fight at the line of scrimmage. Both quarterbacks led their team on, on impressive drives at the end. And Ohio State comes in here to South Bend and gets a gritty, gritty win.